What's up, everybody? Well, I hope everyone has a happy Easter, a happy, blessed, safe Easter. God be with you, and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Now, moving on from that, let me get to the business at hand, and that's uh, my quick little thoughts on the new Hellboy movie that just recently came out. Um, new interpretation of the character from what we had in 2004 from the Guillermo del Toro movies, which Ron Perlman happily played the uh, big red-headed motherfucker Hellboy, and uh, he did a damn good job with that. I love Ron Perlman's version of Hellboy. Just going to get that out from the get-go. I miss them damn movies. I love the shit out of them. Uh, part one and two, I thought they were both great. And I wish to God we would have got a third sequel. I mean, it was in the works. It was in the planning stages, but just fortunately it never happened. Plans fell through. Uh, time after time, they just said, fuck it. They scrapped the idea and they went ahead and made a reboot. <sighs> Why? We didn't need this movie, dude. It just, it fails horribly for so many reasons. And for one... I heard the director and the producer couldn't get along or couldn't agree on one or two things. So it's kind of like there's a Halloween six thing going on here where it's a clash of minds and nobody could get their shit on the same page and nobody could get their shit together. And then you can tell because the pacing of this movie and the clashing of tones in this, uh, it just, it sucks. It's terrible. Um, came out horribly on the film and the film suffers greatly by that because it does, it's the kind of movie where it doesn't know if it wants to be a horror movie, it doesn't know if it wants to be straight-up comedy, and it doesn't know if it wants to be sci-fi or drama. And it's just all that shit mixed together into one fucking movie, and that's where it fucks up, because there's really shitty, corny-ass, bullshit comedy in this that doesn't land at all, it fails miserably. You're lucky if you get a snicker or a laugh out of something that Hellboy says. That David Harbour, him as Hellboy in this, no offense to that actor at all, because I do like him in the Stranger Things as a sheriff, a hopper. But as Hellboy, maybe it's the fact that I'm so used to Ron Perlman's version of him that I just can't imagine anybody else donning that iconic character. It's just, man, the way he plays him or the way they made him play the character just sucks because... You take Hellboy from the 2004 movie, which was this big, humongous, larger-than-life character that was badass as hell. He was a smart ass. He was funny. He had some depth to him. You know, he was a kind, gentle guy on the inside. But on his exterior, he was a hardened, badass motherfucker. Well, you know, and he had some one-liners here and there, but they all landed perfectly, and it was funny as hell. David Harbour's version of Hellboy, it's... He's basically a whiny ass, crybaby, bitching teenager that's dealing with hormones and like a fucking coming of age movie. It's like it's like Hellboy is a fucking teenager in this. You might as well say it feels like that because he's got a teenager's mentality. He whines, he bitches, and cries to his dad all the time. He's arguing with his father the whole time in the fucking movie. His dad talks down to him like he's a goddamn five year old, and just Hellboy acts like a five year old having a tantrum the entire fucking movie. And he's just sitting around on his ass eating cheese puffs and Cheetos in almost every scene you see him in and throwing out these throwaway bullshit one-liners that nothing really lands at all. It's all corny-ass shit. It's like a goddamn preschooler wrote the dialogue in this. And none of the characters are interesting. They're all boring as shit. They're all bland as fuck. He's got this Asian dude that's supposed to be a sidekick from the comic books who was originally going to be played by a white guy. But for some reason, they want to stay true to the source material. And they decided to axe that idea and got an Asian dude to play him, which his character still sucks. It's still boring as shit. Even if they got the white guy to play it, it still would have been boring. So what the fuck was the difference? Oh my God, we got to get an Asian guy in here. Well, you didn't do anything with it. It still came out stupid as fuck. <sighs> There's a British chick in it that's Hellboy's sidekick, and she's got the power to communicate with the dead. She can put her hands on somebody's dead body who recently died, and become that person, or that person becomes her, either fucking way you want to look at it, and they come through her mouth like this elongated fucking loogie, it, it looks like they're a piece of shit, and just, the top half is their body, and the bottom half is just this elongated, veiny looking, snotty, slimy looking loogie out of your throat, and they, they talk and shit, and just, 
I'm gonna get a migraine thinking about this. Too bad. <laughs> uh, Ian McShane plays Hellboy's father in this. He's about the only thing that's redeeming about it. He's the only character I actually liked in this. It's a little different from the dad in the first two films, but it's still... He does okay. I, I give him that. He's probably the best actor in this movie. Even better than Hellboy himself, David Harbour. I just I hated Hellboy in this. It was terrible. It was a piss-poor interpretation of the character. Mila Yakovich or however the fuck you say her name, who plays Nimway. Uh, how the fuck you say that name? I'm not sure. Evil sorceress witch that wants to bring down the entire world and bring hell on earth. And, of course, they do that same bullshit thing that we saw in the other two fucking movies where they want to turn Hellboy evil and bring him back to his original origin of who he's supposed to be and how he's supposed to be responsible wholeheartedly for bringing on the apocalypse. And uh, there's some shitty cgi in this there's some terrible sci-fi produced looking bullshit cgi monsters some giants uh there's some fight scenes where hellboy gets his ass kicked by some giant rock like gods and shit and just it all feels like it's from a sci-fi movie it feels like something i click on sci-fi at two o'clock in the morning or fucking hulu or netflix it's got a real streaming quality to it it feels like this was produced by netflix or hulu and uh The gore is good. There's good gore. You know, it's got great gore. Uh, buckets of blood and carnage candy. If you're a fan of that, then by all means, check it out. But if you're looking for anything past that, you're not going to find it. It's just, it sucks, man. God damn, it sucks. <sighs> oh, and the dude, the Asian guy, turns into a jaguar at some point in the movie to help Hellboy fight off some demons and shit. And... Uh, or fight name way who the fuck she was. Um, I didn't. Even, I, it's forgettable, you know. But anyways, he turns into this fucking cheetah jaguar looking thing, and for some reason, when he goes back into human form, he still got his clothes on him. Now you turn into this fucking animal and shit, but when it's over, you revert back to your human human form, but you somehow still have your pants on. How the fuck does that happen? Like, how does that make any sense? I mean, you look at American Werewolf in London, when dude turned into a werewolf, he was fucking naked when he came out of his werewolf state. Um, the only other thing that could make sense was the Hulk. In the 70s, when Bill Bixby turned into the fucking Hulk, the dude's pants were ripped to shreds. This motherfucker, when he turns into a goddamn cheetah, he comes back, his pants are still intact. They're not ripped, they're not anything, really. Might have a little shred here and there, but that's about it. How the fuck are you even got your pants still on, dude? You just turned into a goddamn animal. And like I said, Hellboy, he whines and bitches and cries all the fucking time and just, it, it takes me out of it. Um, he might have had one or two lines here and there that was kind of funny. Kind of makes you snicker a little bit. But other than that, the first, second, and third act, it's just, it feels like it's a hard thing to get through. You're just sitting there looking at your, your watch, your phone, constantly waiting for it to be over. It's like an hour of my life, I'll never get back. So... I can't suggest anybody to watch this. Uh, I would rather you go back and watch the Ron Perlman Hellboy movies because you would have a hell of a lot more fun watching those than you will watching this dumpster juice of a movie. This piece of shit reboot of a fucking franchise. They should have either made the third, come to a fucking deal and made the third movie or just say the hell with it and don't make a reboot because this fucking sucks. It's horrible. It's terrible. All the tones they try to throw in there, comedy, horror, action, sci-fi, all that shit just falls miserably. And uh, even Mila, who plays the evil sorceress Nimue, she's okay, but half of her is CGI, so there's way too much CGI in this. Uh, oh my god. And like I said, they even do a re-thread of the first Hellboy movie where that bald dude with the fucking beard who looks like the lead singer of uh, that fucking metal, metal band, Judas Priest. Uh, they go back to Hellboy's origin real quick. Um, it's the throwaway scene. They just Hellboy all of a sudden finds out how he was born or some shit and why his dad kept him all these years and how he come to find him. And It goes back to that part where the Nazis are trying to open the portal to hell to bring demons on Earth and 
of course, Hellboy seeps through the portal and comes out, you know, and uh, his dad takes him into his custody and takes care of him. And they kill the Nazi guy. He doesn't get shipped into the, he doesn't get sucked into the portal this time like he did in the first movie. They kill him, and that's the end of that. But it's just like a cheat read thread just to explain some bullshit exposition of his character. And just like, I. Oh, God, I gotta go, y'all. Point is, this movie's terrible. It sucks. So bad. <laughs> Good God. But anyways, yeah. Basically, it's not worth watching. It's a piece of shit. There's nothing redeeming about it other than gore and violence, and that's about it. Because everything else mil fails miserably. So, uh, yeah. This has been my little rant review of Hellboy 2019, and I fucking hated it. Hashtag not my Hellboy. Ron Perlman will always be my Hellboy. Fuck this fucking version of Hellboy. So what did y'all think about it down below? Let me know uh, if you have any kind of reason why you think I was off on this, way off base, you think I missed a point of it. Let me know down below because I'd love to know. Um, because for me, they fucked up when they said, when they were marketing this movie, they said that they were going to go back to the original intent of Hellboy. They were going to make a darker, sinister creepier tone film than the 2004 and 2008 films. It was going to shy away from the comedy a lot and put it a lot more graphically gory. And that, that part they did make good on it. The gore and shit they did. But everything else, there was no scary tone in this. There was nothing horrific about it other than the dialogue and the characters. They're all boring and bland as shit. That's it. <laughs> you know, they fucked up on that. Where the fuck with the scariness? I, I didn't get that at all. <sighs> Sorry, I, I just didn't like it. I, I didn't give two fucks about this movie. So, you know, let me know down below what y'all thought about it. Because um, to me, they fucked up on that. Because it is not what they said it was going to be. And it was nothing like Hellboy in the comics. Uh, it's, from what I've heard, he's supposed to be in the comics. I've never actually read the comics, but from the gist of it that I've seen, and now read up on Google and shit. It, it's nothing like Hellboy from back then, from the documentaries I've watched. And even the Hellboy from the 2004 movie, nothing like that. And it should have been because that was golden. That was awesome shit. This is a piece of shit. So, anyways, this has been my quick thoughts on Hellboy 2019. And I will never watch this piece of shit again. So, like, share, subscribe. Let me know what y'all think about it down below. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Let me know why, and we'll talk about it. So, until next time, it's been me.